What's up with the Internet Club? Scramble TV. Greetings, citizens and residents. I'm Oscar Castro, and welcome to Open Resource, the new show about food and the environment it has grown in. Today we have health officials in Texas advising against eating local fish, a new farmer's market opens in Compton, California, and a neat invention to help people grow food in their own home or apartments. All this on Open Resource. Stay tuned. State health officials in Texas recently advised people not to eat certain types of fish caught in East Texas. A fish consumption advisory was issued for parts of the Natchez River Basin, the Sam Rayburn Reservoir, and the B.A. Steinhagen Reservoir in East Texas. Elevated levels of mercury and dioxins were found in lab-tested fish samples. The fish that consumers have been advised to avoid are blue catfish larger than 30 inches, flathead catfish, gar, largemouth bass larger than 16 inches, smallmouth buffalo, and spotted bass larger than 16 inches. Women who are pregnant or of childbearing age and children are strongly advised not to eat these species of fish. State officials have not shared any information about why the fish are so full of these elevated toxins, but high levels of mercury, a naturally occurring chemical, can come from the coal-fired electricity generation and waste incineration, among other things. Officials have not yet discussed how this advisory might impact any businesses that organize commercial fishing trips into the affected zones. Now this seems to be just another addition to the health risk of eating fish in Texas or anywhere else for that matter. On the Texas Parks and Recreation webpage, we found a lengthy list of places where the fish are just not fit to eat because of the chemicals stored in their fatty tissue. If you live in Texas, I suggest you avoid the sushi and fish in general forever. In news that isn't all doom and gloom, Compton, California Mayor Aja Brown is working extra hard to transform not only the negative image of her infamous part of town, but also the quality of life for residents who are often under siege. Part of that effort included developing a new farmer's market in partnership with the Metro Blue Line last fall. The city of Compton is listed as a food desert, according to the USDA because more than 15% of its residents are one and a half miles or more from a grocery store. The new market means that Metro riders can now more easily access healthier food on a weekly basis. The market is the first in over a decade and city officials have committed to making health and wellness one of its critical priorities. Compton, like so many cities, has high rates of obesity and diabetes to complement the saturation of fast food joints. According to the mayor, the Blue Line Farmers Market will not only provide healthy food options for residents of the Compton community, but the market will be accessible to the over 90,000 daily Metro Blue Line riders. While just the first step to positively impact the lives of her constituents, Mayor Brown should be applauded for her efforts. And for those without much of a green thumb, a New York City inventor has created a device called the Grow Cube that may make it easier for people with no gardening skills and or limited gardening space to grow produce indoors all year round. The invention is an indoor garden box system that doesn't need soil to grow things. And now you may be thinking, ah, this is one of those hydroponic or aquaponic systems I've seen on YouTube. Well, GrowCube is actually an aeroponic system, which is sort of like hydroponics, except that the plants are fed with a fine mist rich with nutrients instead of a water bath. The misting uses up to 95% less water than traditional farming practices and it prevents overwatering. Inside the box, the plants are suspended on trays that are connected to a large wheel that rotates the trays in a rotisserie-like fashion. Thanks to the rotation, low power LED lights give off exact amounts of light to the plants, resulting in a low cost method of facilitating photosynthesis indoors. The novelty of this growing system is not its pressurized chamber keeping out bugs, nor the UV lamp that kills off fungi or parasites that would kill the plant. No, the real novelty is that the cube can be jacked into the matrix. Owners would have the ability to download an app that can monitor the status of their plants and tell the grow cube how to control the microclimate in the chamber. The grower needs to only do a limited amount of work to yield healthy plants and produce. 
The Pro model for commercial agriculture goes for $2,000 a pop. The smaller version is the size of a dishwasher and has not been priced yet. We expect sales to spike once people from Colorado and Washington get wind of this. Well, that's it for now. Tune in again to Open Resource, your news show about food and the environment it has grown in. Keeping it green since 2013.